What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be doing an eel fish trap, specifically for eels. I came up with my own trap, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this thing to use. And basically, what we got here is a PVC pipe. We got two little funnels, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick them in like this, and then boom, look at that. We got ourselves a double fish trap, so they can get on on both sides. This is mostly made for eels. We'll probably end up catching other fish, but we're after eels today. Okay, we'll do one side first, but what we're gonna do is you're gonna kinda see how it's gonna work. So we got this big like, three foot piece of PVC. It's gonna go in like that, and then the fish go in, and then they can't find their way out. So that's gonna be pretty sick. I've never seen this done before, never seen this trap. I kinda just came up with it myself, and I'm gonna see if it works. Put it all right here. We're gonna give this about five minutes to dry, and then we're gonna do the other side. So this side is all dried up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so obviously the super glue is not working, so we're gonna go to the second option being tape, and we're just gonna tape it down. This stuff holds. Thought the super glue was gonna work, didn't, so just because I it would look a lot cleaner, the trap. So we're gonna just do tape here, and this should work. We're gonna take this piece of tape and go like this. Just fold it on there. And now the reason we are using a PVC pipe is because eels love little caves and stuff. So this is like the closest thing you can get to a cave, so hopefully it works. I'm excited. This is dope. <laughs> Seriously, this is this came out sick. Look at that. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. And that is not going anywhere. Look at that. Homemade fish trap, just like that. And it came out insane. Got our trap right here. We gotta find a spot to put it. But I did pick this location because of this whole bottom, this is a park and it's specifically for animals that like are little and smaller and they come in here because the ocean's right on that side. So all the little animals come back in here and they kind of made like little rock structures in the middle and stuff for them. So a lot of eels love to hang out here. We're gonna put this thing out there and see if we can catch it. But first we need to grab some shrimp. I did pick up some shrimp and that's what we're gonna be using for bait today. Our goal is an eel. So we got some fresh dead shrimp right here. We are about to put them in. Look at them. Here they go. Now eels, specifically love oily fish. So these are pretty oily. Squid is the oiliest, but we are gonna be working with what we got today. And pretty much everything feeds off this. So we can catch fish, we can catch an eel, but by the shape of the trap, we're really after eels today. Put a couple more, and then we gotta find a spot to set this thing. Boom. They're in. Let's do it. I'm excited. My, my own homemade fish trap. <laughs> Hopefully it works. If it works, you guys, I might have to come out with my own fish traps. Let me know in the comments down below. If this thing works, we're coming out with our own fish trap. I really like over here because there's a lot of rocks. All these rocks in here, look at them. Should I go in there and place yeah. it? Yeah. All right, that's where we're gonna set it. Yeah, there are a lot of rocks in here. You know what, next thing I need to do is tie a rope. That's what I gotta do. I gotta add a rope to this thing. But this is my first little invention. We're gonna set it right there. We got rocks all right here. So if they smell that, they're going into it. We'll probably give this about 30 to 45 minutes. Once that time's up, we're gonna come back, check the trap, and see if we have anything. We got a little puffer fish right here. The smallest one I've ever seen. He's right by this rock. I'm gonna try to catch him. He's so cute, dude. I got him! I got him! I got him! Let's go! Look at this thing! Little wow. baby puffer fish. I just caught him in the net. I saw him swimming. Oh, look, he's puffing up. We're gonna get him. Oh, no, never mind. Should we keep this guy? We should keep him. Or should we release him? Can we keep him? We'll release him. Okay. We're gonna release this little guy. So as we're waiting for the trap, I decided to come over to this little like area because there's so many mangroves and look for a little fish and I ended up catching a little baby puffer fish. Whoa, there's a baby! There's even a smaller puffer fish right here! I'm not kidding! I'm catch not him! Kidding. Try to catch him! I'm gonna try. He's right here. He's fast. He's fast. He's fast. <laughs> He's smaller than the last one. Swear to God. If I catch this thing, oh. Smallest puffer fish I've ever caught, I think. Don't hide on me. Don't hide on me. I'm gonna get this guy. I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to get this guy. Just keep pushing. Look at him, he's right here! Yes, Do you see him? Yes. 
This is so sick. Little baby puffer fish. Oh, got him! Oh. <laughs> so like I was saying, as we're waiting for the trap, I decided to come over here and try to catch some little fish. And I ended up catching two little baby puffer fish. And this one being the smallest. Look at how cute he is. Oh. It's so insane. We're gonna release him. Is there a crab right there? Where? I think that's a crab. Where? In this little, underneath this little wood thing. That's oh, a stingray! Oh my God. Holy crap, it's a baby stingray! No way, no way! He must have got trapped in this little thing back here. Oh my cow! That's no! How did you see that? Dude, I thought it was a crab! <laughs> it's a stingray! Holy cow! Smallest stingray I've ever seen. All right, I don't know like if you're allowed to keep these guys or anything, but let's get him out of here first. Look at how cute he is, dude. Oh my god. And this is like a little tide pool it looks oh. like he got stuck in. Oh my gosh. If you guys know what kind of stingray this is, comment down below. He is adorable. Can we keep him? <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed. I'm gonna look up if we're allowed to keep him. For now, let's, uh, we don't have a bucket or anything, so I'm just gonna keep the net here, like that with the water in there. Okay, let me grab my phone. I'm gonna look up if we can keep this thing. If we can, he's 1,000% coming home. If not, we'll probably just release him back in this little sanctuary and let him live his life, but. Holy, holy cow, <laughs> why are we finding all this stuff right now, baby? No, baby. baby pufferfish, baby, um, um, stingray. stingray. <laughs> holy cow, all right, I'll be right back. I'm all right, I'm looking it up right now. Here we go. Are you allowed to keep baby stingray in Florida? Now, if I can't find anything on it, we are just going to release it just because I do not know what kind of stingray that is, and I do not want to get in trouble. You may not be allowed to take them from the wild that small. But at so, least we can rescue yeah, them. Yeah, at least we got them out of there. Thank God. Oh my God. Dude, wait, that was sick. Look at this. It's like a tide pool. A little baby stingray. He was stuck in here because they look, I guess he got stuck like with this wood piece. The water. I don't know. It's not really a fish. They're not really fast moving animals, but he must have got stuck in there during high tide because if you look the water goes all the way up in here all these mangroves are full of water and it's low tide right now so my guess is he got stuck in there but we are gonna let this guy go and live another day look at him oh bye buddy we got cute that is i lost the stingray i have no clue where he went but he probably buried himself in the sand just because he's a little scared right now of us obviously he has no clue who humans are and he doesn't know we're helping him now if you look like i was saying this is all a little sanctuary for little fish smaller bigger fish little sharks will come back up in here stingrays puffer fish everything pretty much lays their babies back up in here that was insane court Good I eye! I found the eye! Good it's a crab! Eye. It's a freaking stingray! Like, it's like a crab. <laughs> Babe, it's alright. That's not common. Seriously, that's not common. To find a stingray just hanging out in a little tide pool like you that. I think is not I'd common. know my fish by now. Yeah, yeah. What am I gonna do with that? <laughs> After a long while of letting this trap set, it is finally time to go check it out and see what we got. We did run into the stingray and that kind of threw us off guard completely because did have to get him out of that little hole. So we released the stingray, he's good to go. We're now gonna check our trap. That would be sick if we can get two in one, like the stingray and something in the trap, so. And the puffer go. fish. Oh, and the puffer fish, the little <laughs> babies. I forgot about those. Do you think we're gonna have something in here? I mean, I've never, I have, I've never really done a trap like this, so we're gonna see. But I mean, there's a lot of fish back here, so it's kind of common. You we have an trap? eel in here. I'm going to flip out. <laughs> if there's, is the mic on? Yeah. If there's an eel in here, I'm going to flip out. Can we keep it? Yes, 100%. Okay, I got it. Bring it over here so we can see. Both the things are still on too. Fine, fine. Now I can't see until I get the tops off, so we're gonna do that real quick. Ready? Yeah. Take this tape off. Here we go. Here's the reveal. Comment down below. You guys think there's anything in here right now? Comment down below and let me know. Here we go. Gosh, that tape is strong. All right, here we go. I'm scared. We got a fish! We got a fish! <laughs> no eel, but we got a fish! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Yeah, nothing else, just a fish. We caught a little baby spot in our homemade fish trap. We're gonna get this guy in the water, 
just because I don't know how long he's been in there. But that is pretty cool. Just the fact that I made that thing and it worked. Love that. I mean, and that's like the second trap I've kind of made and it worked. So here we go. And there he goes to so live another day. That's a spot right there. But if you guys think we should come back and try the trap again and try to catch an eel, get this video to 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes, we'll come back and put that trap in the water and I won't upload the video until there's an eel in it. So I'll probably, last time I did an eel, um, an eel fish trap, I literally had to do like four attempts till I actually caught an eel and then I posted the video. But I'll do the same thing. I made this trap specifically for eels. That was like my goal today. We did run into the stingray though and caught some baby puffer fish, which was just a crazy experience. But yes, this trap definitely works. You guys just saw it caught a fish, so it can definitely catch an eel. It's really made for eels. We literally had this in there for about 50 minutes and we caught one fish. So I think next time we'll change up the location, do it more like by that bridge or something. I just know there are a lot of eels in here. But if you guys wanna see the trap in a different location next time, we will do that. I'll probably add it next to that bridge right there because there's a lot of structure and that is the ocean on the other side. So there's a lot more like bigger stuff. I know, I know eels love it back in here just because not a lot of things get to mess with them and bigger predators can't get back in here. That's kind of why all the baby fish, all the baby species come back in here. It's literally like a lagoon in a way. But with that being said, our trap was a success. We also did rescue a little baby stingray. I've never seen one that small in my life. It was the cutest thing ever. I didn't know if we were allowed to keep him, so I did release it. But like I said, we'll do this trap again and definitely now I know to look around for little baby stingrays next time I'm here never knew like they were even that small I didn't even know they existed that small obviously I did but like finding one I never thought I would find one that small and today I did it is getting dark though the sun is going down we've been out here pretty much like all day messing around and stuff it was an absolutely fun day we rescued a little baby stingray we caught a fish in our homemade fish trap and we definitely are gonna catch an eel in here I promise you mark my words one of these days I will catch an eel in here that being said though guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite part of the video, whether it was rescuing the stingray or catching fish out of the trap. Comment down below and let me know. That being said, we'll see you in the next one. See ya!